Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh, here with my review of iOS 5.1. Now this is available for the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPad 1st and 2nd generation, and then also the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. So what I want to do in this video is just kind of go over all the new features, what you can expect, and uh, we'll go ahead and go from there. The first feature I want to talk about is the quick camera access. Previously you had to double tap the home button in order to get the camera icon on your lock screen. Now when you go to your lock screen, the camera icon is always there. This is a great new feature. I actually really do appreciate it because to me double tapping the home button repeatedly is kind of a pain in the butt. I just didn't really like it that much. But I do love the quick camera access. So this is awesome. What you do now is all you do, take the camera icon and just slide it up and you are in your camera app. So it's really nice because there's times where you want to take that quick photo or quick video and you don't want to go searching for the camera. You don't want to double tap the home button and you know try and get the camera icon up. So this is really great. I do appreciate this new feature. One of the most talked about features of this iOS 5.1 update is the 4G icon that AT&T has put in the top corner of the iPhone. Now this isn't true 4G. Obviously there wasn't a magically installed chip onto your phone. This deals with the HSPA Plus network. Now this is for the iPhone 4S. And as you know, they put several new antennas in the iPhone 4S. So when you have 4G signal, you basically just have the HSPA Plus network, which is faster than 3G, but it's not technically LTE 4G. This is, like I said, a very controversial feature. It's kind of pointless because it's tricking a lot of people when they really don't have 4G. Probably one of my favorite features of the iOS 5.1 update is the Japanese Siri. Now this is because I do have a 100% Japanese grandma and I'm really excited at the prospect of going up to her and having her have a conversation with Siri. That video might be coming up shortly. We'll see if I can plan that and work that out. I just think it'd be really cool to see my Japanese grandma talking to Siri and uh, just see how that conversation works out. So let me just go ahead and show you that really quickly. Find me a Japanese restaurant. So as you can see, that was an epic fail, uh, but I'm not really sure what all that says. If you do, uh, and you can translate that, let me know what you think. Uh, next feature. Probably one of the most complained about features in the iOS 5 update was the PhotoStream app. You weren't able to delete uh, individual photos from the PhotoStream app. Now you are able to do so in iOS 5.1. This is just really simple. Here I am in my PhotoStream. Let's say I wanted to delete the photos of the iPad 2 that I had up for sale. So you just go ahead and click the arrow. Click on you know these pictures here of the iPad 2 that I sold. And bottom right here you can see delete. Just go ahead and delete from the photo stream and you are good to go. Again, this will delete on your iPad, your Mac, whatever your photo stream is connected to. Very nice new feature. It's something that should have been added, but I don't know why they didn't. Great to have it now though. Some other great new features are camera face detection. I'm not really gonna show you that now because I have my phone in the stand here, but there's also the ability to download iMovie and iPhoto. You will not be able to do so unless you have iOS 5.1. Uh, there's also some several bug fixes, um, dealing with battery issues and whatnot. And then lastly, I want to talk to you guys about jailbreaking. If you do have the jailbreak, this might be an update you want to just wait and hold on to until they have a good jailbreak. Right now they do have a tether jailbreak. Now a tether jailbreak means you have to connect your phone to the laptop, jailbreak it, and then let's say you're out and about and your phone messes up and you have to you know, turn it off. If you turn your phone off and turn it back on, you're going to have to go back and re-jailbreak it by tethering a cable from your phone to your computer. So it becomes a hassle. If you do want to update, you might want to just hold off until they have that untethered jailbreak, make sure everything's good to go, working fine. Uh, otherwise, if you don't care and you just want to lose the jailbreak because you like the features that are in iOS 5.1, you may go ahead and do so. Again, you can download these updates straight to your device from your device. You don't have to plug into a computer anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the iOS 5.1 update. If you would, check out my latest video and click that subscribe button that you see there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.